Exchange-traded funds are the investment vehicle of the moment. Like mutual funds, ETFs let you invest in a wide range of assets, but they are listed on stock exchanges. That means you can buy and sell them throughout the trading day at updated prices. And if you already have a brokerage account, they're cheaper. ETFs are passive. That is, they capture the returns of a whole index, such as the S&P 500, and not just an individual stock. So they offer diversification. They've opened up asset classes that retail investors traditionally couldn't touch. For example, you can match any move in the gold price with a gold ETF without owning gold bars. And they're getting cleverer. Index providers produce new indices to capture specific investing ideas just so ETFs can track them. Want to track high dividend stocks or the growing emerging market middle class? ETFs can do it. How do they work? Traditional ETFs own shares and buy and sell them to reflect moves in the index they're tracking. They also trade derivatives to help them do this. Synthetic ETFs are backed by notes whose value tracks the index and are underwritten by a counterparty, usually a big bank. So they expose you to the risk that the counterparty fails, as well as the risk that the index falls. There are other risks. Underwriters must trade fast and furious to stop the ETF share prices detaching from the index they track. That mechanism has worked so far, but it's yet to be tested in a crisis.